Hi, welcome back to the Kinesiology and Personal Training playlist. My name is Kevin Tolkoff, and please make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel for future videos. In this video, we're going to talk about how you would determine a mass of fat loss if all you know are body fat percentages. Okay, so in this case, um, we know the weight of the person. Here the weight is actually given by two, oops, 252 pounds, and we could go ahead and calculate the BMI from that. Um, but suppose we didn't know the height, because to calculate the BMI, you would have to know the height of the person. Well, if you know the body fat percentages that you're going between, in this case, we're starting with 17%, we want to go down to 10%, um, then there's, a, there's another method you can use where you don't actually have to know the person's height. Okay, so again, this is going to be kind of a, a mathematically heavy and daunting problem, but hopefully we can simplify this quite a bit. Okay, so the person's, um, their, their weight is 252 pounds. Okay, so if I want to find out, ultimately, I want to find out the weight of the body fat that the person has, then I want to take the total weight of the person, and I want to multiply that times the percent body fat. So if I know the person's total weight, I multiply by the percent of body fat to get the weight of body fat. This person's weight has, happens to be 252 pounds, okay, and their body fat percentage is 17% or 0.17. So let me go ahead and calculate what that is. Okay, so 252 times 0.17, okay. So this person's body fat total in their body weighs approximately 42.84 pounds. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and round this ultimately to about 43 pounds here. Okay, the reason I'm going to do that ultimately is because you know if you've stepped on, on scales and things like that, um, that... Um, there's error in it every time you step on the scale, okay? Different days, different scales can fluctuate a little bit. And how do you measure body fat percentage? Well, remember, you use bioelectric impedance analysis. Bio, this should be an I, bioelectric impedance analysis. That's that thing where you, um, you hold that thing with two hands, okay? And it measures your body fat percentage by sending an electric a current through your body, and it measures that, Okay. Well, even that, like most machines, has some error in it. So if we have error in the body fat percentage, we're going to have a little bit of error in the weight. So I'm just going to round that, okay? That's not a big deal. Now I want to calculate the pounds of fat loss if the goal body fat percentage, okay, is going to be 10%. Now what we need to do, now that we know the weight of the body fat initially in this 252-pound individual, we need to find the weight of the lean mass, Okay, so how do I do that? The, the weight of the lean mass is just going to be the total weight minus the weight of the body fat. Okay, so the total weight was 252 pounds. I'm just going to subtract off of that the weight of the body fat, which is 43 pounds. Let me actually figure out what this is. So the weight of the lean mass of this person is going to be 252 minus 43, and I'm getting that the lean mass is going to be approximately 209 pounds. All right, so I have this lean body mass now. Now what I need to do is I need to figure out the percent lean mass at 10% body fat. Well, if 10% is body fat, then that means that the percent lean mass has to be 90%, right? Because if you take 10% plus 90%, then that has to equal 100%. We can also write the percent lean mass as 0.9, okay? That is the percent lean mass. Now that we know the percent lean mass of the individual, what we can do is figure out the new weight of the person. So what did we show here, up here at the top? Well, this was for the first case where this person was 252 pounds. But what do we know? Okay, We know that the weight of the body fat is equal to the total weight times the percentage of body fat. Okay, This is true for any case. 
again, this is very important, the weight of body fat is equal to the total weight times the percent of body fat. There's also another statement that's true, and hopefully it makes sense. The weight of lean mass or lean tissue is equal to the total weight times the percentage of lean mass. Okay, so let's apply that here. We know the percentage of lean mass, right? We know this percentage is 0.9. So if we know that the if we know that the lean mass here is 209 pounds, that has to equal the total weight times the percent lean mass, which is 0.9. Okay. Now you're going to have to do a little bit of algebra here. What we can do is divide by 0.9. Okay, notice here the 0.9 cancels, and so we know that the weight is going, the total weight, and this is the new weight, the final one after the weight loss, is going to be 209 pounds divided by 0 0.9. Let's calculate what that is. So 209 divided by 0 0.9, the weight of this person is going to be about 232.2. Pounds, I'm going to go ahead and round that to about 232 pounds. That's the final weight of the person after the weight loss. Okay, so now what I want to do is figure out, now that I know this um, final mass, I want to figure out the weight of the body fat in the final condition once the weight loss occurred. So remember, weight. Of, this is always true. Weight of the body fat is equal to the total weight, this weight, times the percent body fat. Let's do that. So the weight of the body fat is going to be equal to total weight, 232 pounds, times the percent body fat. Well, we know in the final case that's going to be 10%. So this is going to be 0 0.1. And so now I'm going to take those 232 times 0.1, 10%. And basically this turns out that the weight of body fat is going to be approximately, it's technically 23.2, I'm simply going to round it to 23 pounds of body fat. Okay, so notice, in the weight of body fat, initially was what? It was 43 pounds. Okay, so 43 pounds of body fat. And then if we look at the weight of body fat in the final condition once the weight loss occurred, we see that is 23 pounds. So in other words, how much fat tissue or adipose tissue does this individual need to lose in order to um, get to 10% body fat? Remember, this is at 10%. The other was actually at 17% body fat, okay? So what does this person need to lose? Well, you're just going to take the difference. So 43 minus 23 pounds, and that's 20. In other words, this person needs to lose 20 pounds of body fat, and that's going to take them from 17 to 10% body fat. So using this method right here, we don't actually have to know the height of the individual. Okay, if you're able to have access to bioelectric impedance analysis, or in some cases a more advanced technique like a biopod, um, then you can measure the body fat percentage and do this simple calculation to determine how much fat mass the individual is going to lose. Okay, so hopefully this, this method made a little bit of sense. Um, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel for future videos. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Good luck on any exam you have. Have a nice day.